Hello everyone. Community detection algorithms that we use to find communities in large real-world networks are tested enough for today's huge complex networks. I am Kasim Pasta from Karachi, Pakistan, and we will be discussing something about this in today's presentation. My apologies for not attending the conference in person due to visa issue. Uh, hard luck. My it's my bad luck. Uh, I am really missing you guys. This is my first uh, video presentation, so please uh, consider a bit delay. I am trying my best to utilize these 10 minutes. I am PG student, Karachi Institute of Economics and Technology in Karachi, Pakistan. This paper is co-authored by my supervisor, Dr. Faraz Zeti. He is presently data scientist at Region of Peel, Canada. Uh, this is my today's presentation uh, layout plan. Um, as I have a very short time of 10 minutes, I will try my best to be brief and precise. Uh, first, we will discuss the basic terminologies and the motivation behind this work. I consider this is the most important part of my presentation. Then I will describe the steps of the model. Then we will discuss the experimental uh, setups and the resultant discussion. And obviously, at the, uh, at the end, we will discuss the conclusion in the future uh, research. Uh, Networks are everywhere. We are surrounded by the networks. We live in an interconnected world. Any interconnected system can be represented by a graph, also known as a network. There are many examples. Co-author network is one of such examples in which nodes are authors and edges show that two authors have collaborated to, collaborated together. Uh, network models are used to generate synthetic or artificial network, which mimic the real world networks. After the groundbreaking discoveries of a small world and scale free network in the late 90s, researchers have actively pursued the development of network generation models and a number of net models proposed. These network models help us in understanding the structural properties such as associated mixing, presence of hierarchies, or, and presence of communities. These models also help us to understand or to, uh, to analyze or to, uh, the impact of different dynamic processes such as epidemic, epidemic spreading and influence mining. Importantly, these models also help us to understand the dynamics behind the formation of a network. We can also use these models to generate benchmark graphs and we will discuss this about in a while. Evolution of a dynamics, uh, uh, the underlying mechanism through which a network evolves is actually termed as the evolution dynamics. Uh, these evolution dynamics help us to understand how real world networks attain certain certain structural properties. For example, professional attachment explains why degree distribution follows the power law. The similarly, triad closure explains the presence of high clustering coefficient in, an, in any network. Uh, let's talk about something about the benchmark graphs. If you want to evaluate the community, uh, the performance of a community detection algorithm, there can be two approaches. We can run uh, any community detection algorithm against a real world net data set uh, with prior information about the ground truth communities. So when we run the community detection algorithm, we can compare the result of community detection algorithm with the prior ground truth communities we have. In this approach, we have to rely on small data set, uh, such as uh, we know one of the common small size data sets is a Karate Club uh, data set. Why the small data set? We are, why do we have to rely? The one problem is unavailable of ground truth for the large networks. And another problem, if we have such a huge network, we, the recently the few attempts made to extract the such huge network with the ground truth communities. But how to define those communities is actually an issue. Uh, so these ground truth communities actually behave inconsistently for different definition of communities. So another approach could be is actually to generate synthetic network to, with the ground truth communities. Uh, so we, we, we can use uh, the network models to generate synthetic network with the ground truth communities. There is a one important thing we need, I need like to mention is that there are a number of models available in the literature that generates network with community structure. But those models do not discuss how to attain the information about which node belongs to which community and also do not discuss how we can generate different kind of communities from these models. So I, I can safely say okay, the network models with community structure actually is not equivalent to benchmark. So these, these models cannot be used as a benchmark graph. The two most commonly used actually uh, to generate bench, uh, models to generate the benchmark graphs are the Gian Grimm and Newman benchmark graph and Lachiti for uh, benchmark graph, which is also known as LFR benchmark graph. 
basically gn benchmark graph has a lot of limitations such as one of the some limitation is 128 it's limited to 128 no divided into only four groups okay uh, so this is the one limitation lfr don't have this kind of limitation you can create a huge network using the lfr benchmark graph you can create a network of predefined distribution may you may generate a network with a power law falling uh, with an, a network of a degree distribution following the power law uh, but the problem with lfr is actually what we believe is the configuration model lfr do not use evolution dynamics uh, so this is the one of the problem we may face we, we, I, I i say with the lfr benchmark graph but before jumping into lfr benchmark graph let's talk about the build, building blocks of a network uh, we all understand actually uh, networks evolve on the basis of different dynamics different uh, different networks may have the different kind of dynamics uh, let's assume if we have a two 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 different networks two uh, two different networks of the same sizes similar structural properties but can we can we say that these two networks are actually having the similar kind of the building blocks uh, or they may have a similar kind of evolution dynamics it, this is a question let's say uh, both are the small world and scale free networks having the similar average path length similar clustering are they built from the similar evolution dynamics for example if we talk about a co-author network uh, in a co-author network, we expect induction of the clicks as a number of co-author contributed together result in formation of clicks in the network. Where in the case of an airport transport network, we introduce a single node with some some ages with some ages in the network. So so we we say that these are two kind of network. These two kind of a network actually are are fo are following the different kind of dynamics. So let's see. Here we actually we, uh, extracted uh, the two different network. One is the collaboration network or co-author network, and one is the air transport network of cities. So we actually extracted the at the maximum five percent of their maximum degree, and we can see clearly that the, uh, the building blocks of the both networks are pretty different. Okay. Here we can observe the both networks broken into different kind of pieces. Let's say, uh, let's say them the building blocks of these network. Co-author co-author network is heavily consisting of the clicks, contrast to air transport networks as we discussed a minute before. So here here we talk about the motivation behind this work. So we learned that underlying mechanism behind the formation of these network, we may say the evolution dynamics plays a crucial role in shaping of structural and topological properties of a network. So it is an important question to raise that whether the network generated from model which do not consider these dynamics are the right candidates to test the performance of community detection algorithm. Remember the community detection algorithm are supposed to run on the real world networks which are built through Different evolution, uh, different evolution dynamics. So this is the question we would like to raise. This is the actual motivation behind this work. So in this paper, actually, this study is the result of a, uh, of a, of uh, it's a result to seek answer of these questions. We propose a model to generate benchmark graphs. Uh, that is a graph with the community structure and ground truth communities based on evolution dynamics. We studied whether such model can generate network with the desired structural properties or not. And we compare the performance of community detection algorithm for the proposed model and compare it with the LFR benchmark. We didn't use the GN benchmark because we know it's a, it's it's a very limited in terms of the size, and we wanted to test for the larger networks at least of size of thousand nodes. So so let me come to the proposed model. Uh, but before uh, describing uh, before describing the steps of the proposed model, let me explain about the parameters. So this model you are using um, uh, one, two, three, four, five parameters. Uh, first parameters are actually very important. It's about the quality of communities. We 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 name it as a mixing parameter. So this actually control which kind of communities are need to be generated in your network. I am skipping the further parameter uh, due to the limitation of time. Uh, so let's talk about the model. Model is actually consisting of two steps. One is the setup, another is the growth. In setup, actually, we introduce the C trites. Take okay? We introduce a number of uh, trites. These number of trites are actually equivalent to the number of minimum number of communities you you are expecting in a network. Why minimum? I have discussed this in my paper in detail. Let let be brief here. Uh, so we cannot control. Uh, the communities are actually emerged by the by the evolution of the dynamics, but we know at least these number of community will be present in, will be present in, uh, in the network. So let's say if I need three communities in my network, at least three communities in my network. So I will introduce three trials.
rights east rights are actually uh, east rights actually is representing one community so all the nodes in east rights or each community is actually labeled according to the according to the uh, the community number so let's say first right is assigned to the community one second right is assigned to community two third right is assigned to community three so one first right the, the all nodes in the first right will be labeled the one the, you know, all nodes in the second right will be labeled as two and th- uh, and all node in and third right will be labeled as three so three communities and each node in each communities are labeled accordingly at each time step we will introduce a new node let's say n is introduced in a new node l will be connected to another node and dash which is selected preferentially that is how we, that is how we did in barabasi model that is how we did in home and kim model similarly we selected and dash using the professional degree on the basis of uh, the professional uh, attachment model but here we uh, as the n and dash is selected and created an age with n is created an age with and dash the n is assigned the community of the n dash let's say n dash has the community of 3 so now n will become the part of community 3 now we will create the try formation steps so on the prob- on the basis of probability pt n will create m edges with the neighbor of n dash but uh, uh, let's say m equal to 5 so, so so there are supposed to be five try formation step will be created on the basis of pt take on the probability on the basis of probability of pt but here is an important thing uh, we control to which neighbors this age will be created whether these neighbors are supposed to be part of the community or whether these neighbors are supposed to be not part of the community so the the mixing parameter will decide it if mixing parameter is that's 0.5 so that's mean 50% of the ages will be the will be the uh, will be created with the neighbors of the part of the community those neighbors which are belong to the same community let's say n belong to the community 3 so so 50% ages in case with when mixing parameter 0.5 the 50% ages will be created with the neighbors of the community 3 and the 50% ages will be created with the neighbors which are not part of the community 3 so so this is this is how it works uh, obviously in case of pt we know okay uh, in case with the probability of 1 minus pt we will create the preferential ages uh, similarly like in home and kim model that's we did so so it's a similar model except we are introducing the communities and we are introducing the mixing parameter in order to test whether how uh, in order to to test the, the performance of the model actually the model present in literature to generate networks are tested against network analysis measures like degree distribution clustering coefficient and average bunch length to evaluate the structural and topological properties whereas the benchmark graph with the crown truth communities are usually evaluated to test how well defined communities exist in the network as our as our the model is actually for the benchmark but based on the evolution dynamics so we wanted to cover both so we evaluate the model against the structural properties so we want to test whether we can generate a small world and scale net free networks while controlling the quality of the communities uh, so we want to test for the goodness of generated community to learn whether we can generate network with communities of different qualities and we want to test the performance of different community tradition algorithm on benchmark on benchmark comparative to lfr for this purpose we use eight community integration algorithm which are uh, fast greedy multi level clustering walk tra- uh, walk tra- markov clustering inform map label pro- label propagation vos and spin glass so these eight algorithm are used we will discuss in a while the result of these uh, our model on these algorithm so we actually generated 250 40 graphs of different parameters these are the parameters and uh, we use uh, for network sizes we actually use 1000 2000 and 4000 size of the networks for number of communities we actually tested 10 20 30 and 40 and so for probability try formation and mixing parameter we use this these values So let's talk about the result. So first we check our uh, first we check our pair. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. So first we check whether our graph is able to generate small world and scale free networks or not. So we try to actually uh, to realize whether. Um, give me a minute. Okay. So for, so we real, first we try to uh, to understand what what is the impact of network size on average bond length and we realize that this is pretty fine as we are expect as we were expecting k uh, apl grow logarithmically as a function of network size also directly proportional to pt so that means if we increase the value of pt the uh, the power uh, average bond length will grows which is very uh, it's very uh, it's very expected um we 
if you see the left side, the B, the image, to, which actually shows uh, the network size and tried uh, clustering coefficient and um, uh, 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 tried probability. So we see uh, as we increase the tried probability, the clustering coefficient is increases. So we we can safely say that the PT or the probability of tried formation is working as as it's, as it expected. We are expecting if there is a high probability of tried formation, there should be high clustering in the network, and if there is a low probability of tried formation, there should be low clustering in the network. So it's working perfectly fine. Now we try to degree, now we try to plot the degree distribution uh, uh, degree distribution with respect to the different mixing parameter that we learned the mixing parameter have a very lesser impact on the degree distribution. So whatever the mixing parameter is, we can generate the uh, we can generate the network uh, with the degree distribution following the power law distribution. So so now we can say that our network our model can generate a small variance scale uh, can generate the network with a small variance scale free characteristic. Uh, now we try to learn the, the impact of mixing parameter on average path and the clustering coefficient. So what we learned, the average path line is proportional to network size and the number of communities. So on the, on the left side, you can see if we increase the mixing parameter, the average path line is reduces. Uh, why? It, it, is, it is very open. If we are increasing the mixing parameter, so actually we are creating a lot of edges with the other communities. So overall path line is supposed to be very low. But if we are decreasing the average uh, mixing parameter, that means a very less number of edges are expected with other communities. So obviously APL seems APL should grow. So this is very uh, this is very fine. This is expected result. Uh, if we if we see the uh, mixing parameter and clustering coefficient relationship, so as we increasing the mixing parameter we see the clustering coefficient is reduces. Why? Again, if we are increasing the mixing parameter, that means we are connecting with the other neighbors. So if you are connecting with the other neighbors, so so, so the neighbors of the other communities, so there are less chances that we are uh, dense. We will we, we won't we won't have the dense uh, components. So this is very this is very expected. Uh, so the one question we raise actually by uh, for ourselves, okay, are this model is good enough? even after including the mixing parameter and the communities to generate the real world networks so we try to uh, to generate two real world networks one is, one is the air transport network another is the political book networks uh, in paper i have described uh, we which parameter we use here i am just explain i am just giving you the idea okay this uh, model is actually able to generate the similar networks as the real world network so so now we move towards the communities so so whether the communities are actually generating and whether the mixing parameters is working as expected as far as the community is concerned so we use the modality to quantify the presence and quality of community structure you can see as the mixing parameter increases regardless of the number of size of communities the community's quality or the modality actually decreases so this is pretty expected uh, we want as the, uh, we know as we will increase the mixing parameter we are actually degrading the value of the communities we are expecting more more edges outside the communities than inside the communities but as we reduce the mixing parameter this mean we are expecting more edges inside the communities so we are expecting the better quality of the communities well separated communities you may say so 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 mixing parameter is working as expected so in order to as there are different definition of the communities uh, so so we would like to see whether our model able to fit which kind of definition of the communities so here you can see the result of of, of a size of 4000 network but the similar result we observed here you, we are actually uh, we are actually drawing uh, we are actually plotting for top 20 communities with, for the different value of mixing parameter so you can see easily that the red line which actually shows the mixing the, the mixing parameter of value 0 0.2 so at, for every kind of definition of community the, the the red line is above so that's mean okay, for for lower mixing parameter for for whatever the definition you decide either you said separability density clustering coefficient or loyalty these are different definitions of the communities which i discussed in my paper uh, the mixing parameter is working fine as you actually uh, increase the value of the mixing parameter um, the, the the kind of the uh, the quality of community decreases regardless how you define your community 
Uh, now we the, another part of the work is actually we compare uh, the the performance of different community algorithm eight, eight different community detection algorithm which we I discussed uh, earlier uh, with the LFR. So here you can see the dotted line is actually the LFR and the solid line is for the model. Um, uh, this is actually the, the average of for all instances. So it's a one picture which actually shows the performance of all the eight different community detection algorithm. One thing is pretty clear. Okay, as we are increasing the mixing parameter, the performance of community detection algorithm are degraded. That's pretty fine. There is no issue as the communities are not good enough. So we are not expecting community detection algorithm to work fine. That's pretty fine. But the one important thing is actually the LFR, it seems to be more sensitive than the our proposed model. That's mean community detection algorithms do not behave similarly for both classes of the benchmark. The benchmark which are actually generated uh, using the evolution dynamics are not much sensitive than the benchmark which actually do which actually generated through the one of through without using any evolution dynamic are more sensitive to the mixing parameter so this is just a, i am not saying which benchmark is good or bad and or which community algorithm good or bad but i am just saying the community algorithms are actually behaving differently for both classes of the benchmark this is something we need to be uh, we need, this is something is very alarming for us here you can see the individual performance result uh, on the on the left side there are the four algorithms which are which are actually behaving the sim which actually showing the similar behavior okay lfr is more sensitive but somehow the behavior is a similar for for lfr and our proposed model but on the right side if you see the, 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 these algorithms are behaving differently uh, for example if you if you look at the viewers so viewers in case of viewers lfr is becoming less sensitive as we are in increasing the mixing parameter. It is performing better, uh, uh, but uh, for our proposed model, it is not true. So, so, so I just want to make sure. I just want to make a point. Okay, the the, the communication algorithms, algorithms, uh, communication algorithms are no be, not behaving similarly for both benchmark graphs. So we may say. So let me conclude my my thing my um, presentation here. Okay, so so actually, so we may say the the communication algorithm demonstrate inconsistent behavior on the two benchmarks. The the one of the one of the uh, model proposed by us, which is actually based on evolution dynamics, and one we use LFR, which actually not using any evolution dynamics. So communication algorithm are demonstrating the different behavior for both of them. This actually highlights the fact that different evolution dynamics indeed affect the topology of generated networks. So that means community detection algorithms should also consider the benchmark based on evolution dynamics when they are measuring the performance of their algorithm. Uh, I want to conclude this uh, this presentation here. Uh, we want to extend this study to impact all the dynamics of the community detection algorithm. There are a number of more dynamics. Actually, we consider only two dynamics, which is the professional attachment and product closure. But there are further dynamics available in that literature for the community detection for 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 network generating uh, community base and for net for generating networks uh, with the presence of communities. So, what if we consider those uh, dynamics as well? So, how the community detection algorithm are behave are going to behave on this? The another uh, the future work that actually we are uh, thinking to work on is actually or we, the one may extend this uh, research further. By using these benchmarks, by using these different evolution of dynamics, we may investigate reason behind, behind the behavior of computational algorithms. This uh, uh, this difference in the behavior of computational algorithm. Uh, now I would like to thank you all. Um, thanks for considering my this presentation. Uh, I would like to. I would love to answer any query. I, uh, this is my email address. I I I, I, I will be available. And I would love to answer any query. Thank you, everyone.